first week of the behind the scenes videos. I am still really nervous to make this album. I mean, it's a huge deal. I've never released original music in my life. So what do I have to do? Like write meow. What are the things that I'm doing to actually make this thing happen? First of all, I went to soundbetter.com and I contacted like five or six producers slash mixers. So people that like have produced other pieces and have worked with people like um, our indie artists like the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, Karen O, uh, things like that. And I was kind of looking for people that specifically worked in a genre that I was excited about and that I wanted to release music in. Um, and I ended up picking a guy named Zef, and Zef is going to be the person that I'm going to hire in order to mix my vocals um, and master everything and put in some of his own instrumentation and like an electronic kind of feel throughout some of the songs. So we will be collaborating on my music. Of course, I'm going to be pretty, pretty, uh, stubborn on what I want and I have a very specific vision for every single song that I'm going to be releasing in the fall but overall I have another person to kind of bounce off of that's been in the industry and has released lots of music commercially so I can kind of have a timeline through them and have an idea of what that bigger piece is going to look like and how it's going to sound when it's on its feet and not just a demo. What I am working on right now is the song Shine. And I started working on the song called Shine when I was going through a deep depression in the pandemic and I realized I can't go outside. I am incredibly extroverted and so I uh, fell into this depression and wrote this song kind of in a day and day and a half and it was more like a vocal lease but it was sur surrounding the idea of just let this light shine on me please 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 can i find this light that can just shine amongst everything that is clouding the silver lining or the good the good stuff in life so this song I feel really close to, but one of the things that I need to change in the song is my vocals aren't hitting exactly on the beat of the piano and for the track that I created for it. And that's because when I first started recording this, I didn't realize that there would be a latency on the piano. So every single time I would strike a chord on the piano, it would go like, like I would sing something that it would go, plunk so sing plunk sing plunk and it creates this kind of like offbeat thing that wasn't intentional some of the parts sound really cool and kind of like kind of juxtaposed next to each other they're kind of eerie sounding but some of it sounds to me sloppy and i want those chords to line up exactly when those changes in the vocalism happens and so I'm gonna work on some of that today and kind of sync up exactly when the vocals need to be hitting with the underlying drone of the piano under it. Um, especially in the beginning of this song, you're gonna hear an influence from German leader, um, specifically the song Der Leiermann by Schubert. Um, Schubert has a song called Der Leiermann, which means the hurdy-gurdy man. Hurdy-gurdy is an instrument we don't use anymore, but it's kind of like an accordion, but also a stringed instrument, and you, you churn it, and it's got just a kind of an eerie drone sound to it. And that was kind of the idea, is just like having this weird drone. And you'll hear it in the very beginning of this song. This is the first song that I'm working on, and I'm trying to get the stems, or the musical tracks and components lined up so that I can send them in to Zef and he can just mix all of them together and then we can finish that first track. So I'm in front of my computer and I'm actually going to show you the song that I'm referencing uh, in the very beginning of my song. Uh, this is the one called Der Leiermann, which is the hurdy-gurdy man uh, by Schubert. 
and I'll just play for you the first part of the accompaniment. So it's got this drone that happens, and then there's this kind of like weird, um, kind of creepy little line in, in the piano that kind of just does its thing. And this is my piece. <laughs> So it's got a little bit more of space between the chords, I guess. And then you'll hear my vocals coming on this next chord. So as you can see, some of my vocal changes happen before the chords or like not right on the chords. And that's something that I want to change before I send this over to Zeph. And then you'll hear that weird little line before we get into the bigger part of the song right here. And all the words in this song are light shine on me. That's it. That's literally all I'm singing in this song over and over again is ah and light shine on me. Um, I, it was kind of a step away from something that I, I've never really wrote a song that had such simplistic vocals, um, as far as like, uh, lyrics. So very simplistic lyrics and, um, very much inspired by this kind of desolate, um, song that Schubert wrote, Der Leierman. And it's kind of just about being in a place of gray haziness and either seeing a glimmer of light and knowing that like there is a light at the end of the tunnel or like just wanting it so bad. So this is a song that I am going to start with. I'm going to start working on this and I'm going to make sure that the vocals are solid and in time with the piano. And then I'm going to send these over to Zeph and then he's gonna mix them, finalize them, and then send them over, and then we'll get a sneak peek of what that sounds like, um, hopefully in the next few weeks, so awesome. So that is the behind the scenes for today and what, it, what I am working on today. Obviously, I released the Patreon, and that is a huge part of this, is getting the funding and being able to uh, create this stuff and, and work with Zeph because he is a person who has worked with celebrities and whatnot and he knows what it takes to specifically get my music to the realm of larger platforms um, and whatnot and, and being able to mix it so that it's going to sound good on stereos, it's going to sound good over the radio if that's a thing. So um, I'm excited to work on it. This is a piece that's obviously very personal to me and I hope that you enjoy it when I finish it. Are you okay?